Okay guys, so here's a quick update on the tractor again. Um, let me get to the shop here. Quite nice out though. Quite, quite nice. <clears throat> so, uh, that gonna turn on? Yep. Okay, well, I looked some, looked some more around on that tractor, and uh, I didn't bother popping the deck off because I just think that's, you know, it's just stupid that I have to do that to check. Uh, all the all the steering shit and uh, I checked them all I tried to because I got the tractor parked up in the corner so it's hard to really get in there I checked them and they're tight um, I don't know what the hell John Deere was thinking but the steering rods there's a rod coming through the back is like this far from like the PTO shaft that runs my moor deck like you could have to, you know, there's plenty of room, you know, to the left. You could have, you know, moved it over a little bit more. That's kind of a tight little area. Um, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to drive on with it and uh, um, see if it's still. I'm going to. I got to get it down the road and see how it how it acts. If if it starts to crab walk again, then I'm going to have to call John Deere. They'll have to figure it out. But. You know, I mean, I looked at everything. Everything seemed tight. Nothing's loose. I know that one of my steering rods for the front, the front left tire, there's, well, there's actually three of them, but, well, there's one in the middle that pulls the other wheel, too. Well, that one, I don't know what, I don't know what the hell, I don't know where it was hooked up to. That one had a tiny bit of play in it. So I think that's getting close to being wore out, but I could get many more years out of it. So I'm not going to really worry about that one too much. And the rest of them seem fine. There was a little G on your tractor. Big tractor like mine. Turn right. So yeah, I, uh, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm going to let it go for a while, and uh, see if the sloppiness goes away. I don't, I mean, I don't know. It's one of those uh, great mysteries, I don't know. So, ouch. So, I mean, hands are all shit, because I've been checking everything, and like, ugh. I'm not taking the deck off just for that. Because all the steering stuff's on one side anyway, so. So, you know, it doesn't really go anywhere else. So. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drive on with it. It looks like I have to mow again. Um, well, a few more days yet, but. Um, I guess I'm just going to. I mean, when you're mowing, you really can't tell that it's. It wants to crab walk on you, but you you can definitely tell when you go down the road. She'll want to uh, she'll want to crab walk on you. Like I said, she don't do it all the time, but sometimes she does. Um, like I said, I did grease everything, so I don't know if that'll help it or not. I don't fucking know, but I don't know, boys. I don't know. It's just something I don't know. It's really weird. I don't know if maybe every once in a while it just, you know, that tractor acts a little funny and then it wants to, wants to son of a bitch itself or what, you know? I don't know. So, fucking knobs. But I'm just, just going to let it go. If there's no play in it and any of those rods, well, I'm not going to bother then because... I'll just run until she breaks. They don't know, but you know, I think I'm gonna have to start saving up some money because I don't. If I do have a major problem, I'm not gonna have any money to pay for this. So I don't think I'll be uh, really be buying much or anything from Norton Tool for a while until I can until I can figure out what the hell. Because I don't want to be broken. I don't have the money to fix it because 
John Deere won't take monthly payments on that, you know. So that's just the way John Deere is. So they'll finance you, you know, equipment for you, but they won't let you pay monthly on on stuff. I don't know why. Well, maybe they would. I don't know. See, not, every time I buy something from John Deere, I usually always have the money to pay it all in full, so I don't really ask, you know. Um, and I don't want them keeping my tractor either because I'm going to need it to mow, you know. I mean, I might just have to let it go either until it does finally break and then we'll know it's what was wore out or or maybe in July or after July when the grass has slowed down, I'll call John Deere and let them look at it. But for now, I'm just going to drive on with it because if I can't figure it out, you know, Fuck it, I'm just gonna keep going with it then. I'm just gonna let it go until either it just finally says the hell with you and breaks or until she just decides to crab walk the son of a bitch, you know, and roll me and roll over, you know. That's really the only thing the only way I'm gonna fucking know. I mean the thing only does about seven and a half miles an hour, so you really can't tip the damn thing, but if you turned her fast enough and sharp enough, she would roll. Real easy, so I'm just I'm just gonna drive on with it, boys. Fuck it, because it just shouldn't be that hard to figure out, you know. And I'm not going to tear my tractor apart to just to get to the fucking steering shit, you know. I don't think any of that stuff, I know that stuff can't go out of whack. It can't, so I don't know. I have to mow here, but I'm like, well, I think when I mow here again, which will probably be pretty soon, I don't, well... A few days yet, anyway. Um, it'll either be before payday or it'll be after payday. Um, I'm just going to drive on with it and hit every damn pothole and beat the living shit out of it like I've always done and just see what the fuck happens. If it breaks, then it fucking breaks. Nothing I can do about it, so. But, um, see, the thing is I kind of need the money to fix it, too, so I don't think I'll be ordering much of anything. I was going to order um, that extension cord for my welder, even though I don't have a freaking outlet yet. And, uh, there's a few small tools I might buy for cheap. They're like 10 bucks, you know, on Northern Tool. I might buy those, but for big things, like that extension cord or whatever, I'm not going to bother. And I was going to get the electrician down here to fix those outlets. Well, I'm not going to bother either. Not when this tractor is going to start going on, going on the blink, you know. This is the first time I've ever seen any have felt any problems with the John Deere, you know, it's usually always been Big Red. Big Red's usually always been the one to crash on me. But I don't think Big Red would crash if I would have bought them from the cities. It's when you buy them from these small hick towns, they don't fucking care about nothing. They, they like to tinker with stuff. Brand new stuff. So, who, you know, I mean, who knows what they did to Big Red when they had them. Here, He's got a better life. Now I forgot to grease him too. I gotta grease him too. I already washed him, but I gotta grease him up now. Um, I know Mothman wanted to see a video. I don't know. Did he want to see a video? Oh, he was asking about the the steering and how the steering worked on the tractor. Um, I'll make a video on that later. I'll let you know when I do. I have too many videos coming up. I got videos from like three weeks ago that. I haven't even uploaded yet. They're on YouTube, but they're on private. And I want to get them up and out of the way. I already got part one of one of my videos up. That oh, was a... It was a cold start to the trimmer and the tiller. So, I made those videos like, I don't know, two weeks ago, it seems like. So, there goes that damn ranger again, those sons of bitches. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll make you, a, I'll make you a video on it, man, and and tell you how it kind of, show you how it kind of works. It won't, it's no problem. I'll do it, but it just ain't gonna be anytime soon, man, because I just have way too much to do. I have too much to worry about, and and right now, since garden season has started, we've been gardening. Um, I think we're pretty much well done seeding. I don't think we're gonna seed anything else. Um, just a little bit of stuff in. Uh, in the north garden, she's got a few plants she wants to put in there. But then in the south one, I think we're about done. 
We didn't put much in, but she said that she didn't really want anything since she thinks about it. I just put in the stuff that I wanted, and that was it, and what my mom wanted. So that's all we put in, I guess. Didn't take up a lot of space, but... Whatever, it's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Since uh, the John Deere's been acting a little bit funny, I think I'm going to put everything else aside and start saving a little bit of money just in case he should go on the blink on me. Because as soon as he goes down, he's going to the shop and getting worked on. I don't, I don't fuck around when it comes to my stuff. I, we, I mean, we will save a little bit of money this month, but it, it's not going to pay for much of anything if it happens to be over $500, you know. So, if it is, I'll just have to order the part and fix it one by one. Or if it's something really major, it's just going to, it'll just have to go in. I guess my grass will just have to grow. There's not much I can do about it. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to borrow my uncle's mower either because that thing's too small for this yard, and his could have problems too. I don't think his has had problems yet this summer, but last summer it had a few minor problems. But it took it took them a couple of months to to get all the parts, just because they were so damn expensive. And then last, I think a couple of years ago, it had a engine problem. And he couldn't fix it. So then he took it to John Deere, and then when John Deere looked at it, they said, well, man, we're going to have a hell of a time fixing that. It's just like John Deere don't want to do anything anymore. They're like, oh, well, it's easier for you to just go, it's cheaper for you just to go buy a new engine, or, well, either a brand new engine or a brand new uh, tractor, you know, than it is to fix an old one. You know, maybe if people had good credit, but, you know, you know, it's well to to my grandma and my uncle. It's cheaper to just just buy the parts and fix it themselves, which it is, you know. But you got to be damn good at your mechanical crap. And I'm not exactly all the, all the best. I mean, I don't know it all, so I'm still learning. But I don't. I really don't want to learn on my stuff. That's just a problem, you know, because I'm afraid if I work on it, I'm going to fuck it up all the more, and then either way, it's got to go to the damn John Deere place, so take it there in the first place and be done with it. So, save me having to deal with all the bullshit. So, well, whatever, what can you do? So, yeah. I'm just going to let it go, boys. I'm just going to, uh, just drive on with it. Um, this, well, when I mow this time, which will probably be in a few days, um, I probably won't be mowing at the farm, you know, I mean, I usually only mow the farm every other time I mow my yard, because there, I just don't really give a shit about it, so it doesn't need to be mowed every time I mow. So I do do it every other time I mow my yard. Um, it's, you know, it's just what I do, but... Oh well, what can you do? But yeah, so... But I'm going to have to take it on the road... Um, next time I mow and test it and see if she still crab walks. If it crab walks, I'm going to have to call John Deere and just get their opinion on it. Just say, well, you know, it's been crab walking on me a little bit and and other stuff. I mean, it's a free phone call, you know, it's free to call them. It's free advice, so I might as well fucking do it. But I don't want to do it until I know I have to. Um, see, now the thing is, too, that when I drive it this time, it, it might not even fucking crab walk, you know. It's just, I don't know why it did it that one time unless it was unless it was slipping on gravel and it kind of slid out but I don't don't think there's much for gravel over there really and the gravel here is kind of hard so I don't know all you can do is just you know floor it and go down the road and see what the hell happens if she fucking breaks well she fucking breaks you know because there's just really not much I can do because I've already looked at it at everything you know what more can I look at? And I had the tractor jacked up on, you know, the ass end there. And you can move the tires like this, both of them. But that's just, I think it's just because of that steering plate. I don't know if that's, if that's supposed to be doing that either or not. Because if, because if that's, if it's not supposed to move, then that's where my, my crab walking is coming from. Because then, then that plate is, is pulling itself out a little bit. I don't know. I really don't know. It's hard to say. 
So I'll just keep uh, keep driving on with it, and uh, I guess just keep driving on with it. I don't fucking know what else to do. And I know you guys are saying it. You know, you, you guys are helping me out, but <clears throat> you guys probably. I know Mossman said he doesn't really know much about him. <clears throat> About those four wheel steers. I guess he's never really seen one or something. So, well, I probably don't know any more than he does, really, honestly, because I'm just not really. Well, I mean, I haven't had to fix anything on it, so on, on it yet, so I haven't really learned anything. So, you know, I just learn whatever I can from looking at it, and and. Uh, you know, YouTube videos and stuff like that. That's really all I can do. So. But, whatever. So, way she goes. What can you do, right? So. But I'll probably be mowing pretty soon. Um, I do you know. I just mowed like a couple of days ago. So. I do have those GoPro vids. Um, give you an update on that quick, too. The first part. Nah, it's not the best. I didn't really care for it, but I'll upload it anyway. And then part two is a little better. Still not really like the best kind of shot, but uh, fuck it. It can just go be uploaded and be done with it. But uh, <clears throat> I'm going to upload some other videos, get them out of the way. They've got to get out of the way. You know, and it's funny too is that the only videos that are up to date are my cell phone videos. All my other videos are out of date. Like they're from like, you know, two, three weeks ago. So I mean, there was actually a couple of other videos I had made with a big camera, and I just said I just said to hell that they weren't that important to upload, I guess. So, so I just deleted those and uh, made a couple of uh, couple of uh, funny vids. I just found my shop key, but yeah, I got my four other key. I got my I got a, an, an, another key on here too for my shop. Hmm, huh. interesting. So that's where that key went. But, whatever. <clears throat> I guess I'll just drive on with it and, uh, with the tractor and uh, be done with it. If it starts to crab walk any worse, if it gets worse over time, then you, then you definitely know something's out of fucking whack. I just hope it'll last me throughout the summer. I mean, I don't know, like I said, I greased those top zerks that I missed, so I don't know, maybe. I don't know, maybe those bearings, well, it can't be that, because the steering rods would 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 stop it from doing that. So it's something, it's the steering rods that are allowing it, you know, or something like that, that's allowing everything to turn, and then making the ass end whip out, so, so it can't be those top zerks. <sighs> I don't know. I'm I'm speechless because I don't know what the hell this problem is. I looked at all the linkages and everything, and they were. You can do this with them, left and right turn, but you know back and forth. There's none of that. No up and down or anything like that either. So, they're they got to be fine. And then, uh, like I said, I got that one for the steering, on the front tires. There, one's a tiny bit loose, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Um. It's probably just going to get worse over time anyway. I mean, everything does, so. But that looks like that would that would be an easy fix for me because it's not buried under every fucking thing. You know, it's right there. Just pop the wheel off. and Well, I mean, fuck, you don't even have to pop the wheel off either. It's just it's right there, so. I don't know, but guys, I got to take off. I got to run to the farm. Um, I got to, we're going to do a little bit of watering there. I got to water some garden or some seeds. And, uh. And then, uh, whatever. <laughs> Smart garden bullshit. So, yeah, I don't... So, I'm just going to let you guys know that I'm just going to drive on with it. Fuck it. Uh, I'm just going to let it go. If it keeps getting worse, then I'll just uh, call John Deere and let, let them look at it or let them get their two cents in and then uh, we'll go from there. I don't know. It probably could just be a bearing, but the question is, where is that bearing at? You know, where is it wore out? Because I've looked at it, out of everything. So, and then that, that plate, too, you know, that helps. Because those rods are hooked to that, and then it's hooked to the wheels. Well, that rod, there's no movement in that either, just left and right. Well, that's what it's supposed to do. 
so you can turn your wheels left or right. So I don't know. And there's no up and down, no back and forth, no, no you know, nothing, you know. It's fine too, so... F um, just drive on with it, I guess. If it gets worse, then I'll call it John Deere, let them get their two cents in, and then I'll see, well, how much is this going to cost me? You know that they won't probably say because they don't even know what's wrong with it themselves. You know, I'm sure if you've worked on tractors before like that, so I'm sure you could give me a fucking idea anyway. Because if this is going to cost me over $500, it might as well just, just fucking just keep going until it breaks finally because I'm not going to have $500 to spare, you know. It's it's just not going to happen. So, well, whatever. It's what she fucking is, I guess. I'll keep you updated on the tractor, too, as the days go on. Um, well, there probably won't be any more updates now until I actually get it back in the yard and chopping grass and back on the road. Um, I'll just see what happens there, but, you know... I don't know. I don't think anything will happen. I don't know. It might. I don't know, it might blow up. I don't know. I don't know. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to take off. So, I guess have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah. Have a good day, too. See you guys later.